Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover how NASA's satellites captured a colossal tsunami wave stretching 120 kilometers across, unleashed by a powerful earthquake off Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula. What followed was a rare scientific moment where cutting-edge satellites and ocean sensors captured the event as it unfolded. The massive 8.8-magnitude earthquake that struck off the coast of Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula in 2025 triggered giant tsunami waves, which have been captured from space. The tremors shook the Pacific, and the ocean was in the grips of tsunami waves, even though no huge waves were reported on the coasts. NASA's new Surface Water and Ocean Topography, or SWAT, satellite got to see the monster wave. It was launched in 2022, and this was the largest earthquake the satellite has captured. Using the data from SWAT and Deep Ocean Tsunami Boys, researchers mapped the earthquake's rupture zone. It stretched to around 402 kilometers, and the intensity caused parts of the seafloor to lift up by 13 feet. The findings were published in Seismic Record in November 2025. Scientists combined data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's, or NOAA, Tsunami Warning System and NASA's SWAT satellite to understand how the 2025 Kamchatka tsunami was formed. NOAA's Deep Ocean Assessment and Reporting of Tsunamis has sensors on the seafloor that can detect changes in water pressure. The data is sent to buoys on the surface and satellites in almost real time. The researchers aim to understand how the seafloor shifted during the Kamchatka earthquake. SWAT was passing over the region when the earthquake struck and captured a 120-kilometer-wide wave in the ocean, recording the tsunami's shape and motion from space. When the data was further processed, they gained a clear view of the tsunami waves and how they spread rapidly. This analysis also helped them figure out something else about a magnitude 9 earthquake that struck the same region in 1952. When the data was compared, they found that the 73-year-old earthquake did not release all the built-up stress in the fault, and this is what triggered the earthquake in 2025. The 1952 tremors were more lethal than the latest quake. This finding also questioned the basic model according to which massive earthquakes in the same region occur over hundreds of years. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.